The Parliamentary Public Accounts Committee report based on the 2015-16 Auditor General's report on the Health Ministry indicates that just 23 million shillings was recovered from individuals implicated in the Global Fund corruption scandal. Now what was most disturbing in this case was that this money was swindled by individuals. So meaning the taxpayers, the old lady that is struggling to raise school fees for her own child, is busy refunding this money that was swindled by individuals who are known. And some of them are still even in public service. Deputy Chairperson of the Committee, Gerald Karuhanga, says the Uganda Sanitation Program in the Ministry of Health also failed to account for 1 million US dollars or 3.6 billion shillings it received in 2011. And they were not declaring the source of the funds. So we, we find this uh, um, gross impunity and uh, certainly which should be uh, punishable. Committee Chairperson Angelina Osege told journalists that they will start their investigations by interfacing with accounting officers in the various government entities. She added that the committee's sectoral decision approach gave accurate results on the health sector in November 2016. The committee report also indicates that the health sector and local governments were the worst performing sectors in accountability in 2016. Three financial years back from now to date, on the monies that are always returned from entities, you have heard from local governments, from many government agencies. As the financial year is closing, money is taken to the entity and then it is taken back to Ministry of Finance. We want to know where that money goes because we don't see where it makes entry into the next budget. And we think it is also an avenue for corruption. Osege, who is also the Soroti Woman MP, says the committee also found cases of fraudulent transfer of public funds through private bank accounts. The committee report accuses managers of the Uganda-China Friendship Hospital in Naguru of fraud. But this is a situation where the leaders of the hospital paid the tax on behalf of the service provider, which is erroneous. And it is illegal, it is criminal. And so there we find ourselves losing over 100 million Uganda shillings. And we are saying it should be recovered from one doctor, Nadumba Edward. Osege cited some examples of fraud from the report. That means uh, government officials or accounting officers transferring money to different expenditure lines that are not authorized. Uh, we also noticed a lot of advances to personal accounts, which is against the law, and many of them are not accounted for, as you will see in the detail of the report. The MPs call for the immediate suspension of all accounting officers involved in any corruption scandals as investigations continue. One of our most salient recommendations is we are against recycling of accounting officers, and we think that those accounting officers should no longer show their face as accounting officers in the service of the public of Uganda. And we are also going further, going to recommend a forensic audit. The report is expected to be tabled in the August House when the MPs return from recess. And we are going to follow up with the public sector, and then we go to the financial sector, accountability, and then we go to the social sector. Walter Mwesije, NTV. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you.